Hey everybody, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Randy Roud, I'm your strategic account manager for Royal Caribbean. I'm based here in LA, but I do cover all of your agents, all of you guys all over uh, the country. So uh, I'm really excited to be here today and share this with you. Today we're gonna do something that's called Caribbean Done Royally. It's gonna give you a great oversight of the phenomenal product that Royal Caribbean is and how your guests, when they sail with us on Royal Caribbean, you'll find that they become a repeat passenger with us because they just love our product so much. So we'll move on right now. And we're gonna talk about the Oasis class of ships. Royal Caribbean's got 26 ships in their fleet. Uh, the Oasis class is the class that of ships that actually revolutionized the cruise industry. With Royal Caribbean, always think of us as we are the innovators, not the imitators. And we are the most innovative cruise line, the first at sea to have an outdoor aqua theater, to have ice skating rinks on the ships, to have surfing, simulated skydiving, miniature golf courses, you name it, Royal Caribbean has it, which gives you the chance to be an ultimate uh, vacation for your clients. So we're gonna move on and talk about the Oasis class ships right now. And I wanna show you a little video. Allure of the Seas and our newest ship that came out last year is the Symphony of the Seas. In the back of the ship right here, you are seeing the outdoor aqua theater. If you look all the way at the top, you'll see that we have two uh, flow rider surfing simulators. And that squaggly thing in the middle there, that's called our ultimate abyss. That is a slide that you get on on deck 16 and 13.2 seconds later, you're on deck six. So you're going 10, 10 decks in 13 seconds. It's quicker than a, an elevator. Um, and you will see on the sides that are lit up, those cabins on the sides there, those are our aqua theater suites where you, they have one bedroom and two bedroom aqua theater sleep, sleeping up to eight people. And their deck wraps around, so you get an ocean view and an aqua theater view. All righty. Let's move on. We break the, uh, the Oasis class into seven different neighborhoods. The ships may be very large. They're the largest in the world, but you never feel crowded on it just the way we designed it. In fact, when you get to the port, by the time, from the minute you step out of your taxi till you're in your cabin, it's under 12 minutes. That's quicker than any boarding time in the entire industry right now. So let's look at the uh, seven neighborhoods. We've got the Boardwalk, the Royal Promenade, Pool and Sports Zone, Central Park, Vitality Spa Area, Youth Zone, and Entertainment Place. So now we'll go into a little bit more depth as we move on. This is the boardwalk area. As you can see, this is very unique. We have balcony cabins, but instead of overlooking the ocean, they're overlooking a boardwalk. The boardwalk comes with a beautiful hand-carved carousel. It's got an arcade full of games. We even have a sports bar uh, called Playmakers on some of our ships on the boardwalk. Johnny Rockets Dining and um, Sugar Beach, which is an ice cream and sugar and candy shop, among other shops there. So this is really a fun area to uh, take a look at. And if you really uh, take a, a stateroom in the back of the boardwalk area, you'll even have a view of the whole aqua theater. All right, moving on. Okay. And this is a little bit more about our aqua theater. It's a video. We're going to try to sh attempt to. Sh
Sands Diver is in your clear of your line. All lifts are moving up. Let me know when. You're live. Hey, everybody. What an incredible aqua theater that is, huh? I bet you've never seen anything like that. Think about this. All of that great entertainment, the, the synchronized swimming, the diving, even the high wire at, all of that, that's complimentary. That's free of charge. You wonder why now Royal Caribbean has been voted the best entertainment in the cruise industry for over five years now. We're very proud of all of that. Let's look at our next neighborhood. It's called Central Park. Again, being the innovators, not the imitators, we have over 15,000 live trees and shrubs in a park. And we have balcony cabins again. Instead of overlooking the ocean, they're overlooking a beautiful Central Park here. As you can see, we've got uh, four or five uh, balcony uh, decks of balcony cabins. And we also have uh, windows, which are just Central Park view cabins. These are a great way to uh, enjoy it. The park is filled with a little pathway that's got all kinds of restaurants. You could dine outdoors. There's even at nighttime at twilight, we even have concerts right there in the park. This is a park just like New York Central Park. The only difference is we don't have muggers after midnight. Anyway, let's move on. Another neighborhood. This is the heart and soul of the uh, Oasis class ships. This is the Royal Promenade. This is two decks high and it's filled with all kinds of shopping. It's got a, a Irish pub, it's got a pizzeria, it's got a karaoke club, a salsa club, and it's got all kinds of wonderful restaurants and bars. And that's called the Royal Promenade and that goes through the entire center of the ship. Okay, moving on. Our next area is the pool and sports zone. So again, for everybody, we've got zip lining on a ship. Again, complimentary. We've got um, a water park just for the kids called Splash Away Bay. Plus we have the regular water slides for the adults and a whole pool and sports zone with uh, simulated surfing. You could do the flow rider, you could do miniature golf, you could even do a golf simulator. And you have uh, pools that we've designed. We even have a lap pool. Okay, move on. Uh, then the next area is our Vitality Spa. And uh, the spa is uh, one of the largest spas afloat. We've got a full gym with free weights and everything that you need there. There's even a little spa cafe where you can get great healthy smoothies. And then of course, my favorite area is the luxurious spa where you get all kinds of great treatments and things like that. And we'll move on to the youth zone. We are award-winning for our youth program. We go from ages 3 to 17.
But we now have, uh, from ages six months to three years old, we have nurseries on our ships with trained nannies that will take care of the kids. That program is an hourly rate, uh, but from ages three to 17, Adventure Ocean program, that's all complimentary. And we don't just shove them in a room and tell them to watch videos. We call it edutainment. There is all kinds of great educational things to do. We have science projects, we have arts and crafts, we have everything you can imagine. And um, our Adventure Ocean Youth Program consistently wins award after award for being the top. Here's something that you should know. All the staff that works in Adventure Ocean, they must hold a four-year bachelor's degree in a child-related field, and they must have experience of dealing with children in a group atmosphere for at least two years worth. So you're really getting top-notch quality uh, for the kids to enjoy. Okay, move on, please. And we break the, the uh, program into five age groups. Teens are broken into two age groups. They even have their own teen disco and their own little lounge and things like that. Okay, move on please. Entertainment place. Again, you want to know what makes Royal Caribbean the tops in entertainment? This is all free of charge. This is all complimentary. Imagine having an ice skating rink on a ship. Think about what you would spend to go to see the ice capades or Disney on ice. Well, you're gonna see an incredible ice show on board the ship, free of charge, and it's held multiple times during the week so everybody gets a chance to see the ice show. In addition, we also have days where we open up the ice skating rink uh, to clients, for your guests to come. We supply the ice skates, the helmets, and they get to enjoy a free skate during the day. The ice rink at times will turn into a laser tag area where you and your friends and all your clients can come down and participate in laser tag, free of charge again. We also have a jazz club, a comedy club, the largest casino afloat, including a poker room, and uh, we've got a beautiful uh, nightclub, a great disco uh, that goes to all hours of the night there. Okay, move on please. Okay, this is something that I'm very, very proud of. Royal Caribbean, again, being the innovators, we're the first line to ever offer Tony award-winning Broadway shows and musicals on our ship. And these are not just excerpts of songs from Broadway musicals. These are the full Broadway musicals. So think about what you would spend to go see a musical when it comes to your town or in New York, $100, $150. Well, guess what? It's free of charge for your clients and guests. We've got Cats on the Oasis of the Seas. Mama Mia is on the Allure of the Seas. Hairspray is on the Symphony of the Seas. Grease is on both the Harmony of the Seas and the Independence. And one of my favorite shows is called Saturday Night Fever, and that's on the Liberty of the Seas. And for all you lovers of Queen, we've got the musical We Will Rock You on the Anthem of the Seas. So again, you... Your guests can come in, sit down, and enjoy action-packed entertainment. Moving on to the next slide, we're gonna talk about the Symphony of the Seas. That is our newest ship of the Oasis-class ships. We've got new kinds of things on there. We added Playmakers, which is a sports bar and arcade with 17 different televisions televising sporting events from all over the world. We even have Hooked, it's a new seafood restaurant. And then we have something called El Loco Fresh, and that is a quick complimentary grab and go Mexican restaurant right up there by the pool. Alrighty. Royal Amplified is a program that Royal Caribbean is starting right now. And please think about this. This is a program that in the next four years, we're spending $900 million in amplifying our ships. So all of our ships will now be our best ships. 
Uh, we've already been one year into it, and we've done the Navigator of the Seas and the Mariner of the Seas. And those, as you know, do our three and four day cruises to uh, the Bahamas and the perfect day at Coco Cay. Here's a, a glimpse of one of our pool deck areas. Um, our, one portion of it that we've added the surfing and all the great water slides and things like that. So Royal Amplification is we are investing for your future. You as our travel advisor and our travel partner, we want to give you the best ships available to sell because the more you sell, the more commission you are making in your pocket and your guests are going to just come back so satisfied and love of our product. And we'll move on right now, and you'll see um, we're with Royal Amplification. We're adding all kinds of great pool deck and water slides, new bars and and nightlife, and even new restaurants. As you can see, our schedule right here. We've already done the Independence. We've done the Mariner. We've done the Navigator. We've done the Voyager as we speak. And the Oasis of the Seas, as we speak, is getting a $185 million makeover. When the Oasis comes back, it'll be based in Miami for the winter. And everybody up in the Northeast, you're going to have an Oasis-class ship sailing out of New Jersey all summer long and uh, to the Bahamas and the Canada-New England area. Next year, we've got a lot of exciting things happening with the freedom, the explorer, and the allure of the seas, and so on and so forth. So we keep investing our money to give you the best products available. Here's the oasis I told you about that we're amplifying and the allure of the seas we're amplifying. We're gonna, they're gonna be just like the symphony of the seas with the great water slides, the zip lining, the ultimate abyss, and some fabulous restaurants. Let's talk about our accommodations. What's fabulous about Royal Caribbean is we have accommodations that will fit every single budget of your clients from the top suites that sleep up to 14 people they're called our villa suites down to our uh, interior cabins which are phenomenal value so let's take a peek as you can see there's the interior cabin but i want to draw your attention to that middle picture on the top that's called the interior with virtual balcony look at that wall right there that looks like it's a balcony cabin doesn't it well, guess what it is? It's an 80-inch LED screen that we've painted a railing on the wall and framed it out with draperies. And we have a live camera feed up on deck 24 hours a day. So if you were standing on deck, whatever you are looking at outside, you're now looking at in your cabin. It gives you a lot of great sunlight, but you're only paying an interior uh, price for those uh, cabins. It's wonderful. As you can see, we've got outside cabins, boardwalk cabins, and ocean view cabins with balconies. Now let's look at the next uh, slide with our beautiful suites. Our junior suites all the way up to the bottom there is called our ultimate family suite. That sleeps up to eight people. It's a two level apartment suite and the kids bedroom actually has a slide that they slide from their bedroom right down into the living room. We've got air hockey in that suite. There's even a private screening room for uh, movies and they've got uh, a Coke machine and a popcorn machine out on the deck. They have their own private jacuzzi and a mini rock climbing wall inside. There's a Lego wall, um, a wall to play with magnets. It's incredible. In the center down there is our Royal Loft Suite. That's one of our ultimate suites. That's a two-level apartment suite uh, with its own deck, with its own bar, and some uh, jacuzzi out there. And it's just very exciting. So don't be afraid to mention this to your clients. Always remember something, everybody. When you're selling a cruise, you sell from your client's pocketbook, not your own. You may love suites, but your clients may not be able to afford that. So make sure you ask um, investigative questions. You need to wear a hat as Sherlock Holmes and ask them questions and every client that you meet, the first question you should ask to them was, 
what was your most favorite vacation and why? And when they answer you, you're going to get a lot of information back. Suppose someone said, oh, I love last year, New Year's. I took my family to the Ritz-Carlton in Maui, and we loved it. So right there, in your mind, think about what they say. Um, and we're going to have a question in, in a minute, but just think about that que uh, what he just said to you and say, wow, he has a family, so we got to find him a vacation for families. And oh, he went to the Ritz Carlton in Maui, so we know he has money. So don't even bother offering him an interior cabin. Start with uh, the suite to work the way down. Now let's take a question that we have. So the first question we have is, do any of the family suites that accommodate eight have adjoining rooms? The family suite that has eight, those cabins, those suites, those bedrooms are right in there uh, with that. But we do have suites that have um, adjoining balcony cabins uh, that are connecting to them. And on our website and on our new brochures that will be coming out, that you will even see the connected cabins listed right there. That's a great question. Any other questions at this point? Okay, okay. we'll move on. Ah, uh, everybody, this is my weakness. And everybody, this is what is the most innovative thing in the industry right now. And it is driving your consumers to call you to say, hey, I want to go on a cruise that stops at the perfect day at Coco Cay. And let me tell you about perfect day at Coco Cay. It's a private island that we own in the Bahamas. We just invested $200 million into this island. We've built a pier. We're the only uh, private island now that has a pier at this point. Because remember in the past, it could be a gorgeous sunny day, but if the waves were rough, we would have to skip the island because we couldn't put the tenders. And the tenders are the little boats that take you from the ship to the island. Now we're able to dock right up at the island. And because of that, we're even doing some sailings that stay overnight in the island. And at night we have great bands, we have parties, we have live fireworks display. It's pretty incredible. But this project private island perfect day at Coco Cay is incredible. We break it into two areas, the thrill and the chill side of the island. The chill side is your beautiful beaches, complimentary uh, hammocks and chaise lounges and umbrellas and gorgeous beaches. We also have the largest freshwater lagoon in the entire Caribbean with a swim up bar. We have a live DJ playing music there. And so if you want the quiet part, the, the lagoon is so big, you could be in one area where you won't even hear really the DJ or see the swim up bar, or you could be at that area where the, all the action is. And that's the uh, chill. Now the thrill is a water park area. We've got the largest and tallest water slide in North America. We've got a hot air balloon, as you can see in this picture, that takes you 450 feet above the island for great views. We've got zip lining. We've got a wave pool. Um, you name it, we have it. And the kids also have their own water park, which is complimentary. Take a look at this great video, everybody. Or a water park like this before, and I'm just blown away. It's incredible. He's a thrill. I'm the chill. Right. Thrill. Thrill. The first thing was when we stepped off there, we said we gotta bring our grandkids. I am kind of excited about doing the slide over there. They're pretty big.
we'll be feeling so fine. It's so much fun, and the kids are loving it. So seeing them have a great time is what makes me very special. Over the top. Over, like, yeah, I think just... this is the best private island I've been to on any, any ship. Way bigger, way better. The whole kit can boot it. All in all, I would call it a perfect day at Coco Cay. <laughs> Everybody, what do you think about this incredible island? I'm telling you, it is the highest rated guest satisfaction when we do all of our ships there. We now have over 11 ships that are sailing from all over the Northeast, from New Orleans, from Galveston, from Miami, Port Canaveral, you name it, Baltimore, and they all stop there on many of their itineraries. I think we have some questions. Yes. So the first question is, at Perfect Day, can you charge activities, drinks, and meals to your cabin, or do you pay on site? No, it's a cashless uh, system on the island, so everything is charged to your cabin. And if you even buy the alcohol package on board the ship, that's good on the island as well. It's all free of charge. The only thing you'll need cash for on the island is if you want to go to the, our, our local straw market with the uh, native Bahamians and you can buy all kinds of great uh, souvenirs and, and artists and things. That's the only thing that needs cash on the island. And the next question? The next question we have is, what is the approximate duration after ships dock at Coco Island? It depends on the sailing, but usually you dock at 8 a.m. and you leave at about 5 or 6 o'clock. But some of them, as I said, will stay till late night hours, and some itineraries will even spend overnight there. So you'll have two full days at Coco Cay. It's really great. And everybody, um, what we're very proud of at Royal Caribbean is our special needs department. We really take care of people with certain disabilities. And I must tell you, we've designed this island and it is very disability friendly. I mean, uh, when you dock, we have electric trams that will pick you up right at the pier and drive you down. And we now have pavers throughout the area onto the beaches so you can even take your wheelchair or your scooter right up to that area. So we're very, very excited about that. I think we have another question. One more question. Keep them coming. I love these questions, everybody. It's the question is, will there be any fan mails offered at Coco Island? This is a great way for agents to experience and promote the world. And which ships have overnight duration? That's a great question. And um, the Navigator and the Mariner do some overnights in Coco Cay at this point. And I am working with uh, Jill and the whole team here at Archer because I would like to do a put together a little weekend seminar at sea uh, where we'll be able to go and spend a whole day at Coco Cay and enjoy it. Plus, you'll get to enjoy one of our great ships. So stay tuned and we will work on that uh, uh, availability. And definitely tell, um, I, I urge all of you to uh, send an email over to, to Archer, to Jill at Archer, and tell them that you want to go on a seminar at sea uh, on Royal Caribbean, and we will go to Coco Cay. All righty. So uh, as you can see, we have cabanas that you can rent for the day. Some of them are right there on the beach. And then we have something called our floating cabanas. They open in January. Imagine cabanas that's, that are accommodated up to eight people that are floating over the water on stilts. And then um, you have a slide right from your cabana that slides you right into the ocean. On the left side of the screen, you'll see Oasis Lagoon. And that, as I told you, was the largest freshwater lagoon. All of those chaises and umbrellas, everything, that's all complimentary. We even have chaise lounges that are right there in the water so you could sit and relax. I'm telling you, everybody, it is the most incredible day of your life on, on one of our cruises. Think about us, put all your clients on here. No matter what you think about the other cruise lines, Royal Caribbean is the innovator of the most incredible guest satisfaction. So think about us. Yes, a question. We have a question. What is the maximum temperature at time of docking? 
How hot is it on the island usually? It depends on the time of the year. It could be from 70 up to 85 or 90. It all depends on the time of the year. It's, it's, um, if you want to get a good gauge on that, go into the Weather Channel and just check out the weather in um, Nassau year round because Nassau is only about a five hour cruise away from where we are docked. Yes? The question is, I was at Coco Cay 20 years ago and found a lot of stingrays there. How about now? What has been done? We have built a lot of uh, reefs there and we've redone a lot of our uh, beaches so it's great for snorkeling and you could go into, we've developed a lot of extra beaches on the island so you'll feel very comfortable going in there without worrying about uh, the stingrays and the shells and things like that. Okay. Yes, another question. I love these questions everyone. Keep them coming. Did Coco Cay have any hurricane damage? No, thank God. The uh, major hurricane was about 90 miles away. Um, and so all we uh, sustained were um, a little bit of beach erosion and a few trees. And guess what? We've already redone the beach there and we've already replanted all the trees and nothing was damaged. As we had inspectors come out and check everything else and everything is great and we're entertaining um, ships every single day of the week there now and it's been phenomenal. Yes? Is there a medical center of some sort on the island? Always. There's always a medical center there um, on the island and on the ship as well. So if you need to be treated, you go there. But if, God forbid, you really needed it, we would rush you right back on to our ship where we have a full hospital with two doctors and two nurses 24-7. As you can see in one of the pictures on South Beach, we actually have a floating bar that you wade out to from the beach into the ocean, and that bar is anchored right there in the middle of the, uh, of the ocean there. Okay, we'll move on. These are some of the cabanas that we've got that you could rent. Up to eight people can enjoy these cabanas, okay? The Coco Beach Club is our new beach club area uh, with the floating uh, cabanas over the water. And we've got uh, an infinity pool in the Coco Beach Club and fabulous uh, restaurants as well. There's the kids area, as I said, the kids area, Splash Away Bay, that's a complimentary water park area. Yes, another question. It says, is there an age group recommendation? Um, if they could be an age group for what? For the cabanas. No, it's just for families. So uh, it could be families, or it could be six friends, eight friends. It doesn't matter. Believe it or not, a lot of families with little kids love it because the cabanas have like little bed, uh, little couches and things. So if the kids want to take a rest, they could go there. I have two more questions. Please, keep them coming. First one is, do all royal ships have a hospital on board? Yes, they do, with full doctor and medical staff. And then the second question is, is there any departures from Mexico? From Mexico itself? No. We don't sail, um, we don't originate our ships in Mexico, although we have many cruises that stop in Mexico, but no ships uh, begin or end in Mexico. All righty. We'll move on and we'll keep moving on. As you can see, these are just some great pictures of all the different aspects and the different water slides at uh, there. So we'll move on from there. This is a wonderful restaurant called the uh, uh, Skipper's Grill and the Chill Grill and the Captain's Jacks where you could just sit out, have a fabulous lunch, complimentary, and sit out there and enjoy uh, the beautiful views. Yes, another uh, question. We have a question. I have a group of 30 going June 23rd in 2020. Where do I set up the payment plan for the group booking on cruising power for the Navigator of the Sea? What I would suggest you to do if you want to, um, it's not on cruising power, it's on Espresso, which is our, uh, our booking engine, but if you have any questions on that, um, there is on Espresso right at the top right corner on when you enter into Espresso and you have to enter it through cruisingpower.com, 
you can look and there's a phone number there and that 800 number, you call that help desk and they will show you how to make their payments and do everything. Otherwise, again, of course, you could call Royal and just make the payments over the phone to the res agent. But thank you very much for that great group and that ship. They are going to love it. Let's talk now about uh, some of the great itineraries where we're going in 20 and 21. Alaska, everybody, I can't tell you, if you've never been, Alaska should be on everybody's bucket list. It's been so successful for us that next year we're going to have three ships in Alaska. We're going to have a ship round trip out of Seattle called the Ovation of the Seas. We're going to have a round trip out of Vancouver called the Serenade of the Seas. And then we'll have cruises from Vancouver to Anchorage doing one-way cruises, which you could combine for our cruise tour. Let me tell you something right now. Um, for the rest of the month of October, so if you have anybody who you think wants to go to Alaska, the Serenade of the Seas for the rest of the month of October is offering a kid sale free promotion. We have never offered kids sale free in the summertime, but for Alaska, on the Serenade of the Seas only, we will offer a kid sale free, and that offer expires on October 31st. So you have a week, get your clients on the phone and say, hey, you wanna go? And kids are 12 and under, as long as they're sharing the cabin with uh, two adults or two uh, full paying passengers. And those are the three ships, as I told you about. Look in the middle picture that the ovation of the seas. Do you see that thing that looks like a crane? That's called our North Star. Believe it or not, that's a bubble. It's modeled after the London Eye. You walk in, 15 people walk into that North Star bubble. You're standing in there, and it lifts you 400 feet above the ocean and over the uh, ship. And imagine seeing the glaciers up front and personal looking at something like that. And I think we're going to. That's pretty fantastic, isn't it? And here's a better picture of uh, that London, of the uh, North Star. These are people standing in it, so you don't feel like you're cramped. It's very spacious, but look at the floor to ceiling window views. What I love about the Ovation of the Seas, everybody, we built that ship for all weather cruising. And in Alaska, what's the most predictable thing about Alaska? the unpredictability of the weather. It could be 40 degrees, it could be 80 degrees, it could be raining, it could be sunny. We have on the, uh, the ship, the Ovation has the largest indoor pool and pool area of any cruise ship in the entire industry with a glass retractable dome. We also have something called the C-Plex. And this is all free of charge. Imagine inside the C-Plex, we have electric bumper cars. Other lines may boast about having um, a racetrack with electric cars, but you know what? In the rain and in the bad weather, it just stays idle. You can't go out there with that. With us, with the C-Plex, you can run that there. We have full court basketball. We have a roller skating rink, and we even have a circus at Sea School. So we have everything that you want on there, plus a bionic bar. Imagine a bar that the drinks are bartenders are robots, and they you plug in your drink onto an iPad, and the robots are programmed to know how to mix and make that drink for you. And there's our serenade with the beautiful golf course that also has a glass dome solarium so your vacation is weatherproof. Ah, the radiance. I just got off of the ship a month ago and it's still so beautiful. It sails one-way cruises between Vancouver and Anchorage. 
cruise tours are a phenomenal way to see Alaska. You do a seven-day cruise and then anywhere from two to six days of land using trains and uh, buses throughout the interior of Alaska. And we're going to have a special webinar strictly on uh, cruise tours one of these days. I'll keep you posted. I took your advice. Alrighty, and we'll move on. Ah, Caribbean. As you know, Royal Caribbean is Royal Caribbean International. That's our name. And our middle name happens to be Caribbean. So why not 61% of our fleet um, is doing the Caribbean at many times of the year. So let's look at some of our itineraries. The Symphony, the Harmony, the Allure, and the Oasis, that's our Oasis class. They're sailing out of Miami, Orlando, and even Cape Liberty, New Jersey, and Fort Lauderdale. Okay, moving on. The Freedom of the Seas is a phenomenal ship. And as you know, it's being redone in January of 2020. The ship is based in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is great for first time cruisers because you'll fly to San Juan and you can do five ports in seven days. It's also great for those that are afraid of being seasick because you don't have many sea days and you start right there in the Caribbean. And as you sail down the islands, the islands literally, that's why they call them the Windward and Leeward Islands because the islands are blocking the wind coming off of the Atlantic into the Caribbean. So it's very smooth seas down there. And they go to great places like Aruba, Curaçao, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Kitts. So you're really getting the bulk of the Caribbean when you fly from uh, San Juan. We also have a ship in Galveston, Texas, right there in the middle of the country. You fly into Houston Hobby instead of Houston Intercontinental, and it's only 30 minutes to get right to the ship. And we've got beautiful Western, I call it exotic Western Caribbean, including Belize, Roatan, Honduras, and some beautiful places. Okay. Our short Caribbean, we've got the Navigator and the Mariner. They're out of Port Canaveral and Miami. We just redid the ships, they're incredible. The Enchantment of the Seas right now is out of Galveston, but uh, we just announced the Enchantment is gonna be moved to Baltimore and it's gonna be doing seven day cruises out of Baltimore. And um, replacing that in Galveston, doing four and five nights will be the beautiful adventure of the seas. Okay, remember everybody, we were going to Cuba, but of course the government has put a ban on cruise ships sailing to Cuba now, so we had to redeploy our ships. So I'm so excited to share with you that we're moving the beautiful majesty of the seas to New Orleans. It's gonna be based in New Orleans doing seven day cruises. One week it'll do seven day to the Western Caribbean and the other seven days, it'll be doing Key West, Nassau, and our private island of Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Do yourself a favor, everybody. Always look and see where your ship begins and where it ends, and then sell the pre and post uh, vacations there. You guys are part of Travel Leaders. You've got a plethora of great hotels and other tour operators, and do it. I have an agent that just did a five-day Bermuda cruise, but she called up Delta Vacations, and she booked a three-day New York theater package and combined the theater package with the five-day Bermuda cruise and became an eight-day great vacation. By doing things like that, you're going to learn to increase your commissions and your revenue. And that's what it's all about. Okay, we'll move on. The Northeast. For those of you up in the Northeast area, we are coming right to you now. You can sail right from your own backyard. We have lots of ships. Let's take a look. The Oasis doing uh, cruises, Canada, New England, Bermuda. We've got the Anthem, the Vision of the Seas, the Adventure, the Grandeur out of Baltimore, and that will become the Enchantment. 
and the Brilliance from Boston and Empress from Cape Liberty. Everybody, guess what? Next year will be the first time we're going to have a ship based in Montreal, Canada, doing Canada, New England, and also Montreal to New Jersey, and we also have cruises from Quebec City to New Jersey. Okay, moving on. Europe, we've got a lot of great ships in Europe. Okay, moving on there, we will take a look at uh, all of our great ships doing Europe. We've got ships out of Rome, out of Barcelona, out of Dubai, out of Copenhagen, out of Amsterdam, and of course, out of Venice. Listen, next, we um, are back in the Holy Land the first time in five years, so everybody, Think about our Rome round trip, 12 night cruises that go to Ashdod, Israel, Haifa, <laughs> Cyprus, Athens, Kushadasi, Turkey for Ephesus, um, Sicily and Naples and Capri. And that's every year in October. We have uh, great cruises to the Holy Land. Next year, we have two ships doing it. Again, there's Dubai. And don't forget, January in Dubai is the World's Fair this year. So send your people over to Dubai and they can enjoy the World's Fair. Let's move on. Australia, we've got uh, four ships doing Australia. We're doing um, New Zealand, we do Fiji, we do uh, the South Pacific and great ones. Again, book a cruise out of Sydney and call up one of your uh, Delta Vacation, Pleasant Holidays, and put together a land package and combine them both. They're coming that far, you might as well let them enjoy it. Alrighty, we're almost at the end there. We've got ships out of Hong Kong and Singapore doing uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Japan, Korea, and even Malaysia. Our brand new ship, everybody, it's coming out in uh, November of next year, 2020. It's called the Odyssey of the Seas. It's a, it's a quantum ultra class, so it's like the Ovation, but even more ultra. There's a picture of the North Star. The Odyssey will be sailing out of Fort Lauderdale, doing six night Western Caribbean, and something new and different, an eight night Southern Caribbean. So you'll be able to sail from Fort Lauderdale, and you'll sail down to beautiful Aruba and Curaçao. I can't express enough how much I'd love for you all to uh, go on to cruisingpower.com and check under training and benefits and you will see Royal Caribbean University. Go on there, these are little mini courses and you don't have to do it all at one time. You do whatever you can, you go away, a month later you can pick it up and it'll pick you up right where you left off. And it's a great one, you get your bachelor's degree and your master's degree, and you get all kinds of benefits when you complete all of this. And there's cruisingpower.com, as I said, at the top there, you'll see that, and you go right under uh, training and, uh, and benefits, and you'll, you'll see all kinds of great stuff there. I just want you to look at this uh, photo. I'm very proud of this. Imagine being voted by the readers of Travel Weekly, which are agents nationwide. They're you. And we got uh, 16 years in a row, the best cruise line in the Caribbean, best cruise line entertainment, best cruise line overall, and some of the best sales and service department. So we are here for you in every aspect. Selling Royal, you will sell with confidence. And when you look at our rates and our pricing, they're really phenomenal pricing. And one thing I learned, you never have to apologize for what the price is because the prices we're asking, we're getting those prices. So why not enjoy the pricing and enjoy those commissions in your pocket? Anyway, everybody, bon voyage. I want to thank all of you uh, for attending this webinar. I'm excited this was my very first webinar with you, but it's going to be the first of very many webinars coming up. Do we have any questions? Because I'd love to answer some right now. We have a few minutes. Okay. Um, we don't have any questions yet. Um, we all right. Remember, uh, write to Archer and tell them you want a fam trip to Coco Cay, and I will make it happen. 
And I hope I see a lot of you next year in Las Vegas. And again, um, if you need anything, my email address is Randy, R-A-N-D-Y, R, support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at rccl.com. And we have a question. Our question is, do you cruise out of Texas? Yes, we have ships out of Galveston, two ships sailing out of Galveston, Texas. One ship sails year-round, seven-day cruises to the Western Caribbean, including Roatan and Belize. And we also have four- and five-night cruises out of Galveston. Okay. Thank you so much. All righty. Thank you all.